A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa held today a meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud in Jeddah. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to King Salman for the warm welcome and hospitality, reflecting the deep relationship shared by the two countries. The Saudi monarch also expressed pride in historic Bahrain Saudi relations and ongoing coordination between the two kingdoms. The meeting reviewed the bilateral relations and cooperation, regional and international developments, and ways to enhance joint Gulf development on various fronts. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's unwavering stance in solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to enforce peace and security in the region and face all challenges and foreign intervention to protect the Gulf countries and their gains. In this regard, His Majesty hailed the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques in defending Arab and Islamic causes, highlighting the role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in preserving regional peace and security. The meeting was attended by a number of princes and ministers and the delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King then attended a lunch banquet hosted by the custodian of the two holy mosques in honour of His Majesty's visit. It was attended by a number of Saudi royal family members and ministers as well as His Majesty's accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia earlier today for his visit to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in order to discuss the deep-rooted historic and paternal relations, the latest regional and international developments, and other issues of common interest. At the forefront of His Majesty's reception at King Abdulaziz International Airport was Deputy Governor of Mecca Region, Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Saudi Commerce and Investment Minister, Head of the Honorary Mission, Dr. Majid Al Kasabi, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Consul General of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Jeddah, Ibrahim Mohammed Al Maslamani, and a number of other senior officials. His Majesty the King was then greeted by the Honor Guards. He expressed pride in the deep rooted Bahraini Saudi relations, reinforced by shared visions and goals, hailing Saudi Arabia's support of Bahrain's security and stability in the face of threats and foreign interference. He congratulated the Saudi monarch and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince on a number of recent, important and historic achievements. He reviewed Bahrain's firm alignment with Saudi Arabia in combating all threats and strengthening unity amongst Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Saudi monarch and the Crown Prince with lasting health and happiness and wish the Saudi people further progress and prosperity under the Saudi leadership. His Majesty the King departed Jeddah this evening, where he was seen off at King Abdulaziz International Airport by the Deputy Governor of Mecca, His Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Minister of Commerce and Investment and Head of the Honorary Mission, Dr. Majid Al Kasabi, 
the Kingdom of Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia and the Consul General of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Saudi, as well as a number of other senior officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa has returned safely to the Kingdom of Bahrain from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia this evening. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Under the patronage of Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the National Oil and Gas Authority will organize, in cooperation with the affiliate oil companies and relevant sites, the Bahraini Women Engineers Forum. The event will be held on October 10th on the sidelines of the 4th Middle East Process Engineering Conference and Exhibition in the presence of women engineers from government institutions, oil and industrial companies, as well as other relevant parties. The forum is also held in accordance with the theme of this year's Bahraini Women's Day, Women in the Engineering Field, aiming to shed light on the outstanding march of Bahraini women engineers and their landmark achievements. Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil Ali Humaydan announced the stability of the unemployment rate in the first half of this year at 4.2%. This indicates the success of joint efforts in maintaining unemployment in natural and safe borders. He pointed out that number of job seekers stabilized at the end of last June at 8,704 job seekers, while number of workers during the first half of this year increased by 1.2% year over year. Moreover, total national employment in the public and private sectors rose to more than 157,000 at the end of the second quarter of this year.